Longest turf race of the night, final leg of the Jockeys Challenge, and they all break away, a little bit slow into stride. Homesick boy for Victoria Alonso as they race through the first furlong or so. And as they make their way through the first furlong, Persian Moon up on the outside in the orange colors, takes an early lead for Jan Alves. Racing handily is General Lee under Frankie Dettori as they come up the home straight and they're already approaching the first turn. They'll be three or four wide into that bend as they make the uh, left-hand turn in a moment or two. Billy Bats with Chantal Sutherland sitting in third place as they make the bend. Once a little wide is above normal for Amdala Olofi and also wide on the track is Le B for Joe Mason who races in fifth place. Behind these Antelope Canyon for Delphine Santiago who races on the outside in about seventh place. Then behind these Habit Rouge for Sam Spratt, orange jacket white face for Yuka Waga's Mount Starcat. Then the pink jacket of Hesselwood for Caitlin Jones and towards the back the slow starter homesick boy for Victoria Alonso. Wink of an eye for Borazan Mercebeyev is also towards the back of the field and uh, Bada is the last one of all. So down the back straight it's Persian Moon for John Alves who has the lead by just a couple of lengths now as they make their way down towards the final 800 meters. Moving up into second Carabino for Joe Moreira in the black and white. Tough trip for the green with the white sleeves above normal in third place. Le B for Joe Mason is just behind them. Still there tracking is Frankie de Tori. Then on the inside is Billy Batts and Chantel Sutherland as they now prepare to leave the back straight and entering the final 600 meters. Persian Moon for John Alves still has the lead. Joe Moreira poised in second place just on the outside as they make the bend. He's riding Carabino. Splitting the pair is Frankie de Tori on General Lee. Moving into contention is incumbent for Louis Sayers. This could be a big moment for him because a place position may well be good enough for him to win the series. It's Persian Moon for John Alves, who corners in the lead. General Lee for Frankie Dettori, a rush down the outside for Starcats, big white face for Yuga Kawada, an incumbent between horses there for Luis Saez. Inside the final 200, Starcat moving to the lead for Yuga Kawada, but in hot pursuit in second is incumbent, and these two have now moved on from Hesselwood and Caitlin Jones, 200 metres to travel. It's Starcat for Yuga Kawada, who is going to win, but incumbent in second place could well be enough. Uh, for to take it for uh, in second Luis Sayers in third was Hesselwood for Caitlin Jones in fourth behind those General Lee was involved in a photo with a few others including Labib the winner is Starcat for Yuga Kawada 15 points will be added but incumbent second for Luis Sayers is going to be enough for him to be crowned the International Jockey Series winner Starcat just chimed in for Yuga Kawada who's had a great night he will move to 29 points but the 10 points for incumbent second will take Louis Saez to 37. Caitlin Jones has once again performed with honor. She'll end on nine points. The fourth place horse was Bader, who came from the back for Naif Alazari. He'll cop four and two for Labib. Joe Mason has had a great evening, but she will eventually finish in third place in the jockey's title. So win in the last for Starcat, but incumbent for Louis Saez is the one who will land the prize with 30.